this is Mike from Truckin' in Wyoming. You are watching TJV, Trucker Josh Vlogs. As he's going down the road with his best buddy, Diesel. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Hey there, bud. Good day, mates. It's another new day. I'm in Winnipeg right now. Uh, we were at home for a day, and now I'm about to go get my trailer. I took a little bit of a detour here. Stopped by our bookstore here in Winnipeg Chapters in St. Patel. I had to get a new book. Finished my other one. So now we go pick up our trailer and we start heading towards uh, Minneapolis, Chanhassen to be exact. Chanhassen, Minnesota. We have that load of lumber that we picked up in Alberta and somebody down there is counting on us to bring them their lumber. And then we have another load of glass that's waiting for us. Somebody in Calgary is counting on us to deliver this lumber on time so we can go pick up our glass on time and deliver their shipment on time. A lot of people counting on me. Which way am I gonna go? I think I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go right, I'm gonna go down St. Mary's to the perimeter. So I'm bobtailing right now, if you haven't figured that out. No trailer behind me. I wouldn't be able to fit into the mall here with the trailer, that's why I came now. street corners has uh, people here holding signs asking for spare change it's kind of sad you gotta wonder if it's uh, legitimate that's what I worry about sometimes I feel really bad for these people who actually are living on the street there seems to be a lot out today and it's cold in Winnipeg but you know every once in a while you hear those stories where they're sort of abusing it but this guy's kind of funny. <laughs> He's making the kids in the car in front of me laugh. If he was up here a little closer, I'd give him something. I don't have any change on me, do I? Or do I? I do have a little bit. Let's see. See, if they make you laugh, then I'll gladly give them what change I have. I had a couple of bucks in my pocket and change. I think I had about two dollars and some cents. I gave it to the guy. I like this sign. He was making the kids laugh in the car in front of me, so. <laughs> that was my coffee money, but that's okay. We can skip a coffee today. He needed it more than us. Really friendly guy when he came to the window. So we have this lumber tied down already. So I don't have to worry about getting it ready or tarping it or anything. It's all ready to go. We've already done it. As long as no one messed with it in the yard there. You know, I left it in the secure yard and my tarps were tied to the deck. So as long as nobody got sneaky and went, you know, messed with it. But we'll check once we get there and make sure. Well, the start to this day is rather amusing. It wasn't like this when I left the house. But there is some good news to this weather. We're headed west right now, and I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but that wind is blowing that snow across the road from the north towards the south. That does mean that colder weather will be on the way, but that also means, since we're going south, that we're gonna have the wind at our back pushing us down towards Minneapolis. So we can sort of just let ourselves sail down. The main roads won't be as bad as this. I'm just on uh, on my way to Highway 75, which going south will turn into Interstate 29 at the U.S. border. It's that time of year, though. You know, the weather gives you hope that spring is around the corner, but winter always has a few last punches to take. It's because the weather is the perfect weather right now for snow. It's nice and warm. 
It never snows when it's really cold. It only it only snows when it's around the freezing point, when it starts to warm up, or when it's starting to cool down, you know? So this is the perfect weather for the perfect storm. Good thing we're getting out of here. My cousin Will, who drives that beautiful tanker, that beautiful long-nosed Pete, he's down in Wisconsin. I think he's in Hickston, Wisconsin right now, which is close to Black River Falls. And he just sent a picture, or posted a picture on his Instagram that it's sunshine and warm down there. So hopefully we can get out of here before it, uh, before it gets bad down there. Or hopefully it doesn't get bad down there. This is getting pretty, <laughs> this is actually heating up pretty quick here, isn't it? Just as I've been talking to you, it's been getting worse. Yikes. Gotta love Manitoba. This is what keeps everybody else out. <laughs> so that we can live in peace and quiet. It's getting worse by the mile here. Oh boy. If we don't beat the storm out, we might get stranded at a, a truck stop down the road if they end up closing Interstate 29. I hope we can get through before that happens, but I don't know how bad this is on the main highways. I have a feeling it's not going to be as bad there. See, as soon as we get a little break in the wind here, a little a few trees, then you got clear roads again. Yikes. Guess we'll find out. Hopefully not, because if the highway's closed, I would have much rather just stayed home an extra night. So we've just turned on to 75 South now. So we have the wind pushing us, but looks like the highways are still not the best. Let's hope that it gets better as we go south. I really hope they haven't closed or they're not going to close the road. They're, they're open right now. So let's hope that uh, they stay open. Let's hope they get better. That's a better thing to hope for. Let's hope they get better. Things seem to be clearing up a little bit for us, and that's a good thing. We're here in Morris, Manitoba, and I don't know if it's just the town that's blocking all the wind or if the wind has actually died down. I'm looking off to the east and the west right now. I can see pretty far. It's just open fields, and it looks like the wind has died down here. So it looks like we're in front of the storm now, which is pushing south. So hopefully we stay in front of it and uh, it peters out before it gets down to Minneapolis. I don't want to deal with that tomorrow. The last time I picked up glass in, in uh, Minnesota, it was a snowstorm as well and I got stuck in their yard and I had to get a tug to get pulled out. That was the day that my airlines were giving me problems and my air dryer and that was just a big mess. So hopefully it's a better visit to Minnesota this time. Good people there. I don't really want to bring the snow with me, so I'm, I'm I told the snow to stay. I was very stern. I said, stay. It doesn't always listen, though. So if it does follow me down, I apologize. They say sharing is caring. I'm just trying to share with you. I'm guessing I'm probably not even going to be able to stop by the house on the way to Calgary. I really wanted to. Hey, there's the Mounties. Or Mountie. Uh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have the chance. I mean, we'll see. I am, I'm picking up the glass load tomorrow, which is a Tuesday. Pardon me, no, it's a Monday. And last time it took them over 13 hours to get me going and get me out of there. 13 hours. I believe we got some detention pay off that. But, uh... This time, I'm hoping it'll be a little quicker, but it's probably gonna take most of Monday to get loaded and tarped. And then I have to be in Calgary, two days drive away, Thursday morning, 7 a.m. So I've gotta be there Wednesday night. So that would give me Tuesday and Wednesday to get there, right? It doesn't leave any time for stopping by at home, but we'll swing back, back after that, I guess, next weekend. Sock Center, Minnesota. U.S. of A.
I could go a little bit further tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find parking because it's getting a little bit late. So I know there's usually lots of parking here at the Truckers Inn. Approaching destination in 100 meters. No, we're already here, Karen. Keep up. We're going to find ourselves a parking spot in the back here somewhere. There's usually parking here, though it did look kind of full from the off ramp. In 300 meters, make a U turn if possible. We'll be quiet. Hush. Let's see if we can find some parking and then I will uh, check in with you guys before going to bed.